welcome to vision academy this is a second lecture on futures contract and in this lecture i will address mechanism of trading in futures contract most important terminology institutions involved in a futures contract you will let you know in this lecture so mechanism of trading in futures market so here i basically uh, address institutions and uh, basic terms involved in futures trading okay so friends in the first one let us know the clearing house so as i said you in the earlier lecture about uh, forward contract the forward contracts are difficult to cancel or uh, terminate the contract why because you want to meet the person whom with you contracted okay but in the case of futures contract it is not okay if you want to sell the uh, sell liver contract you can sell on the on the on the spot only because there is a clearing house it acts as a intermediary for the parties whom trade in futures contract it means if you tra sell the uh, the contract it will buy and if you buy the contract if it will sell so this is a intermediary it it gives a re opposite action to your a reaction so by this the in the futures contract terminating contract is very easy it is also known as uh, clearing corporation if you want to know those th the example for clearing corporation example nsdl and csdl nsdl and csdl are clearing corporation for that matter as i said you it becomes seller of the contract for the long position if you are in a long position it will become a short position and it will become a buyer of the contract for short position so that is the opposite action it will give that's a very important thing from this only the futures contract are easy to cancel or terminate so one more thing we should consider in the future market is open interest open interest means that a number of contracts outstanding very simple it's a number of contracts outstanding in either long or short position whatever it is outstanding when the contracts begin trading open interest is zero whereas as the time passes open interest increases as progressively and more contracts are entered it will increase why should we consider open interest is instead of taking or making delivery of the commodity or uh, commodity virtually all market par participant enter uh, entering reversing the trades uh, that means to cancel their original position then open interest will be considered very very importantly it means so number of contract outstanding example if you are in a long position it means open interest is one so opposite to this if someone got a short position then open interest is zero because one contract is opened and it is closed by selling it means buy and sell when buy and sell equals then open interest is zero when something happen like buy there is an open interest when something happen like sell there is an open interest so when buy taken place sell also should taken place then only open interest will be zero one more terminology we use in future contract is margin requirement that uh, margin is very important only from margin you will run on it and uh, you may see that uh, how it works the margin in the uh, lecture one futures contract lecture one i have given a detailed example for that matter what is that margin it is just akin to your bank account margin where you need to maintain some good faith good faith uh, money from both whether it is a uh, buyer and seller to act as the guarantee that each will abide by the terms of the contract this is what this is very is in uh, simple that's a margin in the margin there are three types of margin very importantly you should take into consideration one is initial margin in initial margin means it is required for starting a new transaction very simple starting a new transaction you need a initial margin for example in nse they maintain 11% of essential margin so it does not mean 11% is uh, fixed an exchange can change the required margin any time if the price volatility increases or uh, if the price of the underlying commodity rises substantially then the initial margin will get increased 
or will get decreased and so on so margin must be there for making every new transaction another type of margin is maintenance margin it means uh, some sort of minimum minimum amount you should maintain in your account just like uh, bankers propose you to maintain some uh, minimum balance in the your account it is also same time uh, same thing minimum margin you have to maintain from your dmat account so one more type of margin is uh, variable margin uh, to you know that uh, concept in uh, market exchange market is m to m concept m to m concept for the purpose of this it must be calculated you to know the particular person loss and profit for the day for that purpose we will calculate uh, we will uh, we, we, you have to maintain uh, some variable margin so it is a calculated and daily basis for the purpose of m to m to know the all outstanding position at the end of the day and this is to be deposited most often in cash only not uh, increase or decrease in your account so you should maintain and deposit this in in kind of cash only from the bank or uh, transfer or whatever which usually done at the days closing not initially days closing so in this way we have these three uh, margins in the margin requirement initial margin for new transaction maintenance for margin for uh, the transaction you make uh, increase or decrease will happen for that and variable margin for the calculate of a marking to market and one more concept as i'm uh, want to clear is m to m marking to market this is a very important concept from which only you will understand your uh, days at the end of uh, day close profit or losses here comparing to forward contract what happens in the forward contract is you don't know that uh, your exact gain or loss until the expiry date but it is not a case of in uh, futures contract because it happens in the exchange exchange so the here the process of marking profits or losses that accrue on to the traders on daily basis is called mar uh, m to m marking to market so in the market what happens is futures prices may rise or fall every day instead of waiting until the maturity date uh, for the traders to realize all gains and losses the clearing house requires all position to the recognize profits as they accrue daily so that is why m2m will work out look at here i will give you an example for that the price of cotton rises from 4000 to 4100 now what will happen per quintal the clearing house credits the margin account of the long position for 500 quintal bought by some person so increase in the uh, the quintal the cotton price increased by 100 rupees per quintal and uh, some ex person is purchased a 500 quintal so 500 into 500 50000 per uh, per uh, contract is transferred to the buyer account it means the, the person who is holding long position he he got the advantage of price increase from 4000 to 4100 it is increased by 100 rupees per quintal that 100 into 500 500 quintal he bought so totally 50000 rupees is credited to the long position that's a buyer holder buyer account and conversely for the short position what will happen the clearing house takes this amount from the margin account so he has to maintain margin now from that account this 50000 will be debited because seller a seller uh experienced the losses of uh, per quintal of 100 100 rupees per quintal totally 50000 he experienced loss for this 50000 rupees will be debited from his account from the margin only so this is how we, it will work in the stock exchange where that whether you uh, gain a profit or uh, Uh, lose that uh, your money so whatever you may make in your transaction at the end of day it will be make uh, marking to market that means you will realize at the end of the day whether you are in a profit or loss 
this this daily settlement he is calling marking to market it means we do not need to wait for our losses to uh, our gain until maturity so it will be settled on daily basis only so you will realize your loss and profit daily basis only so it's all about uh, mar uh, ma mechanism of trading in futures contract where i have addressed marking to market and uh, clearing house open interest and margin some mar types of margin margin requirement and all these are very important in futures contract please stay tuned for further lectures and please subscribe to my vision academy youtube channel thank you so much